welcome parents to 2020, 2021 virtual back to school night. My name is Ms. Manuelos and I welcome you to my AVID 7 class. And congratulations, your student was selected to participate in the AVID elective program. I am so excited for your student to be part of this wonderful journey. Now, what is AVID? AVID stands for Advancement Via Individual Determination. And AVID was founded by Mary Catherine Swanson in 1980 at Claremont High School in San Diego. The first elective class had 32 students. AVID now serves over 1 million students in more than 5,000 schools in 47 states in 16 countries. AVID's mission is to close the achievement gap by preparing all students for college readiness and success in a global society. The AVID program is designed to have students succeed and prepare for college. It supports students who have a strong desire to improve or maintain high level comprehension and application skills. The goal of AVID AVID students will receive additional academic, social, and emotional support that will help them succeed in their courses. AVID students will complete the college preparatory course sequence in high school, including honor level courses. And the goal is for AVID students to graduate from high school ready to enter a four-year university. Now here is our distance learning etiquette. So this is shared with our students and to ensure a positive, safe learning environment, this is what we follow. Attendance, it is very important that your child logs in on time and signs in daily to Canvas. Presentation, I ask students to check their surroundings, dress appropriately and remove all distractions including cell phone, television and to stay focused and pay attention. Be responsible. Students are expected to do their best to complete their assignments, to take care of their device, and when necessary, to mute their microphone to avoid background noise. Students are asked to speak up, to communicate with the teacher and ask questions whenever they need help on an assignment. They are asked to also be a good friend to classmates by not bullying, humiliating, or upsetting anyone online. And if they see or hear any of this, they are asked to speak up and speak to me. Stay safe. I tell students to tell me if anything makes them feel uncomfortable online or if anyone acts inappropriately towards them. Again, they are, we want to all be safe and they are asked to reach out to me. And lastly, they are told to think first, to act appropriately as if we were in the classroom and to do not post anything online that they wouldn't want family, teachers, college admission officers one day, or even future employers to see, because anything that gets posted online can and can be accessed. And so again, this year are our six distance learning etiquette, which are norms slash rules that we follow to ensure a positive, safe learning environment. Now the way students access our AVID class is through Zoom and Canvas. To enter class session, students can go into ARIES and join the Zoom session meeting according to the AVID period. Or they can also log into their Canvas and click the Zoom button and to get to their Zoom class. I've also included a video on how to download the Canvas app on their iPad. This is an easy access for students to join the Canvas class is through the iPad on is through the app on their iPad. Now, what happens in the AVID class? The program is designed to have students succeed and prepare for college. The program places special emphasis on WICR, and WICR stands for Writing to Learn, Inquiry, Collaboration, Organization, 
and reading for comprehension. This curriculum encourages time management, good study habits, college style note taking, organization, and college projects. And again, it's an avid curriculum that is based on more than 35 years of research and rigorous standards. Tutorials. One day out of the week, students will participate in tutoring sessions with college tutors during the AVID elective. Here are the expectations for students. During classwork, students are expected to individually and in teams make sure they are participating at all times. Individually, this might look like discussion posts or taking notes. In teams, this might look like sharing their screen, presenting, and turning their mic on and sharing ideas. Homework. During asynchronous learning, students are expected to complete homework assigned on Canvas and their weekly digital agenda. Overall expectations. Maintain is for students to maintain a grade of 75 or higher in all their classes. And overall, students are expected to and are required to come to class prepared with their tutorial form completed on those tutorial days. This here is an example of what their weekly agenda looks like. Students are expected to fill in in these boxes every day for the appropriate class they are in. They are also to add anything extra they have on Saturdays and Sundays, and at the beginning of each week, they are expected to write in their goals. Now, the key to success, aka student grades. Student grades are weighted in three separate categories. Participation, tutorials, and wicker. Now, if you have any questions, please make sure to contact me either through email, Google Voice, or you and your child can join me at office hours during the week. Office hour links are available in Canvas. This also slide also has the number to the main office. And if you have any tech issues or need any tech support, please call the main office to schedule an appointment on a Tuesday or Thursday. Now go ahead and please take a picture of this contact sheet. And I've also posted this on the McFadden website under Teachers Ms. Banuelos, so you can access this video presentation and slides on the website. And lastly, just to share about me, uh, this is my 11th year teaching at McFadden. I have graduated from Cal State Fullerton with my bachelor's and master's degree. I currently do have two kids first grade and in fourth grade that are at home distance learning as well. And lastly, a few things that I enjoy to do. I enjoy watching and attending sports events, going outdoors and hiking, going to concerts, and I also enjoy dancing. And again, I can't wait for a wonderful year. I am so excited to have your child to be part of the AVID program. Thank you.